McLean Stevenson, renowned for portraying the memorable character Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake in the beloved TV series MASH, had an intriguing journey to success. Despite obtaining a theater degree, his early years were characterized by an array of diverse occupations. Born as Edgar McLean Stevenson Jr. on November 14, 1927, in Normal, Illinois, he was raised by his parents, Edgar and Lottie McLean, alongside his sister, the esteemed actress, Anne Whitney. Having completed his education at Lake Forest Academy, Stevenson made a significant decision to enlist in the United States Navy. Following his service to the nation, his passion for the dramatic arts led him to pursue a theater education at Northwestern University. With a bachelor's degree in hand, he embarked on a captivating career in the realm of radio. Although harboring aspirations of making a mark in Hollywood, Stevenson's path in life often lacked direction. To make ends meet, he engaged in various occupations, including selling medical supplies and insurance. Additionally, he found employment as a press secretary, all while continuing his work in the radio industry. In 1961, a pivotal moment presented itself during McLean Stevenson's visit to New York for a political function. It was then that his cousin, recognizing his undeniable charm, advised him to venture into show business. Following this serendipitous encounter, Stevenson decided to stay in New York and pursue his newfound passion while continuing his studies. Fortunate circumstances aligned as Stevenson was granted a scholarship to attend the esteemed American Musical and Dramatic Academy, serving as a springboard for his entry into the entertainment industry. Only after completing his studies at the Academy did he step onto the grand stage of the silver screen. In 1962, Stevenson made his much-anticipated professional debut in the acclaimed production, The Music Man, captivating audiences with his talent. During the summers, he became a familiar face in Warsaw, Indiana, actively participating in the vibrant world of summer stock productions. In addition to his stage performances, Stevenson graced both television screens and Broadway, leaving an indelible mark in the hearts of viewers. As his career progressed, Stevenson's versatile skills led him down the path of comedy writing. He played a significant role in shaping the humor of iconic shows such as That Was the Week That Was, featuring the notable presence of Alan Alda, as well as the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Alongside his behind-the-scenes contributions, Stevenson occasionally showcased his comedic prowess on both of these celebrated programs. Following his notable guest appearance on That Girl in 1966, alongside Marlo Thomas, McLean Stevenson landed a significant role in The Doris Day Show, starting in 1969. He portrayed the charismatic magazine editor Michael Nicholson, leaving a lasting impression on viewers until 1971. Interestingly, Stevenson initially auditioned for the iconic character of Hawkeye Pierce in M.A.S.H., but he was convinced to take on the role of the beloved Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake instead. This role shot him to stardom. He wrote one episode titled The Trial of Henry Blake and contributed the story for another memorable installment, The Army-Navy Game. His exceptional writing skills garnered recognition, earning him an Emmy nomination. Appearing in a total of 72 episodes across three seasons, Stevenson's portrayal of Henry Blake brought him numerous accolades and nominations. Notably, he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor in a TV Series, further cementing his status as a celebrated talent. Henry Blake's character resonated deeply with audiences, his carefree nature and passion for fishing contrasting the responsibilities of his command. As a result, M.A.S.H. swiftly rose in popularity eventually earning its place as one of the most beloved sitcoms in television history. However, Stevenson, along with Wayne Rogers, who played Trapper John, grew restless playing second fiddle to the quick-witted Hawkeye portrayed by Alan Alda. During the show's third season, both actors requested to be released from their contracts. In a bold and impactful transition, 
The writers orchestrated Colonel Blake's departure in the final episode of the 1974-75 season. In a tragic twist, the character was discharged only to meet a fatal fate when the plane he boarded was shot down over the Sea of Japan, resulting in the loss of all lives on board. Regrettably, McLean Stevenson's departure from MASH proved to be an ill-fated career decision, earning its place as one of the most disastrous choices in show business history. Seeking to establish himself as a leading comic actor, Stevenson embarked on a series of sitcom ventures with high hopes. However, each endeavor fell disappointingly short of success, leaving audiences and critics unimpressed. Among these ill-fated projects were The McLean Stevenson Show, In the Beginning, Hello Larry, and Condo. Unfortunately, none of these sitcoms showcased Stevenson's abilities to their full potential, with each show being dismissed and swiftly canceled after a mere single season. The only exception was Hello Larry, which managed to endure for two seasons before meeting its end. Following this string of disappointments, Stevenson's on-screen appearances became sporadic over the next two years. He made a notable appearance in the TV movie The Astronauts in 1982 and briefly graced a couple of episodes of the comedy romance series The Love Boat in 1981. However, amidst these challenges, Stevenson found a familiar role as a guest panelist on the popular game show Match Game. He initially joined the show as a guest panelist for several weeks in 1973, and later reprised his role in 1978. In 1981, Stevenson became a regular panelist, lending his wit and charm to the show until its eventual cancellation later that same year. In 1983, McLean Stevenson found a recurring role in the comedy series Condo, where he portrayed James Kirkridge for a total of 13 episodes. The following year, he made a guest appearance in the drama series Hotel, However, as the late 1980s approached, Stevenson's opportunities for roles began to dwindle. He found himself taking on guest appearances, including episodes of The Golden Girls in 1987 and Square One Television in 1988. It wasn't until 1988 that he landed his next recurring role in the romance spin-off of the film Dirty Dancing. Stevenson portrayed the character Max Kellerman, for 11 episodes spanning from 1988 to 1989. 1989, he was also seen in the TV movie Class Cruise. Following these projects, Stevenson's appearances on the big screen became increasingly sparse. His final notable on-screen appearance occurred in the miniseries Tales of the City in 1993, where he took on the role of Booter Manigault for two out of the six episodes. Unfortunately, Stevenson faced various health challenges during this time, which led him to step back from acting and focus on his well-being. In his personal life, McLean Stevenson experienced three marriages. His first marriage was to Polly Ann Gordon, which lasted from 1957 to 1960. Later, in May 1969, he married Louise Herbert. Unfortunately, their marriage also ended in divorce in 1971. During their time together, they welcomed a son named Jeff McGregor into their lives. However, in December 1980, Stevenson found love once again and married Ginny Fosdick. Their marriage endured until his untimely passing. Together, they had a daughter named Lindsay Stevenson. Stevenson's life was cut short while recovering from surgery at a Los Angeles hospital. On February 15, 1996, he unexpectedly went into cardiac arrest and passed away. This occurred just two months after celebrating his 66th birthday. Remarkably, Stevenson was the first cast member from MASH to depart from the series and sadly, he was also the first to pass away. McLean Stevenson found his final resting place in Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles. He left behind his wife Ginny, daughter Lindsay, and his son Jeff McGregor from a previous marriage. It is worth noting that Roger Bowen, the actor who portrayed Henry Blake in the MASH movie, sadly passed away from cardiac arrest the day after Stevenson's untimely departure. 
In the time leading up to his passing, Stevenson openly expressed regrets for his decision to leave MASH when he did. His departure from the show left a lasting legacy, including the creation of a term derived from his first name, McLean. The term McLeaning refers to an actor leaving a show and subsequently resulting in the demise of their character, as exemplified by Henry Blake's fate when McLean Stevenson departed from MASH. This unique contribution to the entertainment industry serves as a reminder of Stevenson's impact and his unforgettable portrayal of Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake. Goodbye, and rest in peace, legendary actor McLean Stevenson. McLean St